the Beatles, but they sure look like them, sound like them, and act like them. They're the four mop heads of the smash coast-to-coast -coast live stage hit, Beatlemania. Yesterday. And it's your last chance to get Pepsi half-price tickets to Beatlemania, beginning June 3rd at the Pantages Theater in Hollywood. Love, love, love. Pepsi Cola also offers you some great Beatlemania souvenir items at special reduced prices. Both half price tickets and souvenir items at reduced prices require Pepsi proof of purchase. Get all the details and your Beatlemania ticket and souvenir item order forms wherever you buy Pepsi Cola. Beatlemania, a sight and sound spectacular, beginning June 3rd at the Pantages Theater. Hurry, order your half price tickets today. Hey, fun seekers, Colonel Sanders is offering a free family fun book. Good for big discounts at all the in places. Got a wild streak? Get discounts at Lion Country Safari, the San Diego Zoo, and the San Diego Wild Animal Park. If you want action, there's Mott's Berry Farm and SeaWorld. If you like the sides, there's the Queen Mary Tour, the San Diego Harbor Tour, the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway, and Bush Bird Sanctuary. And if you have show in your blood, Movie Land Wax Museum, NBC Studio Tour, and Universal Studios Tour, there's enough discounts to save a family of five $41, including a coupon good for a dollar off on your next bucket or barrel of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Colonel Sanders Family Fun Book, free with any purchase of Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's your passport to pleasure. Offer on right now, where you see the Fun Book banner. Some gradually clearing clouds, followed by hazy sunshine and a high of 74, a low of 60. In Orange County, it's 60. The Valley is 62. It's 61 degrees at KHJ. <laughs> KHJ, 731. Done a lot of street songs and music ever since the Oral Launch down on South Street. And the Drifters on Broadway. Lately, George Vince has been walking that again. Of course, then there's always the Yellow Brick Road. Here's my favorite, though. Baker Street. KHJ. All Music 93. 735. KHJ. The Bee Gees. Should be Nancy. Baker Street with Jerry Rafferty before that. And Fantasy with Earth, Wind, Fire, and Ricardo Montalban. Kick the whole set off. 739. This is Charlie Tuna. Save a dollar, save a ten. Save a thrifty every time. Save a bundle and much more at your thrifty drug and discount store. With summer vacation almost here, more and more teenagers will be spending their time outdoors. And outdoors is really when teenage acne is noticeable. That's why it's smart to have a little Clearasil handy. Clearasil helps to clear skin blemishes associated with teenage acne. It combines the same type of medications used by many skin specialists. Clearasil helps dry up and heal pimples and acne blemishes, drinks up excess oil, and the best part is, Clearasil blends into the skin without caking or streaking, so pimples aren't so noticeable. Start today with a Clearasil routine printed right on the back of each and every package. Buy Clearasil cream medication in the one-ounce size of regular or vanishing formula for only $1.99. At your one shopping store. Once upon a time, there were two Toyota SR5 long bed sport trucks. An industrious young man owned one. He worked all summer hauling up to 1,100 pounds of payload in the seven-foot bed of his truck. He knew he could depend on Toyota quality to do the job so he could rest all winter. He was smart. The other Toyota truck was bought by a young man who loved to have a good time. He had fun driving the standard five-speed and listening to the AM-FM radio as he hauled his surfboard to the beach, motorcycle to the mountains, girlfriend to the movies. Ooh, comfy. He, too, was smart. He knew when winter came, he could load everything onto the Toyota truck and drive it to where it was summer. The model? No matter what you use a Toyota SR5 long bed sport truck for, work or play, you're smart. You ask for it, you got it, Toyota. Make it cool, make it cool, make it yours. Make it right for someone special. Make it magic, make it real. Make it natural like a mountain stream beside a green grass field. Make it big and bold and lusty like the ocean when it roars. It's what
what you've always wanted Make it yours Make it yours For a taste of morning sunshine Make it yours Make it right For you and me Coors Company, Golden, Colorado. If you're in need of a friend or want someone who understands, call the Haven Hills Hotline for Battered Women. For more information, give Mucho Morales a call. Mornings between 9 and 12 here at KHJ. KHJ, all music 93, 745. KHJ and Pilot with magic. Before that, little magic from David Gates and the Goodbye Girl at 748. If I sound excited, you better believe it. Cal Stereo's pre-grand opening celebration is on right now. Watch for the opening of our new Monterey Park store. All the Cal Stereos are celebrating right now. If you've been looking for a music system with a turntable or a tape deck, we've got one for you at 166. Complete. Six different music systems, all priced at one sixty-six each. And famous brand names such as Sansui, BSR, Akai, Pioneer, Craig, Gerard, Morantz, Kenwood, BIC, and more. Six different music systems, one sixty-six each. Take a Fisher receiver, Gerard 690 complete turntable, two Morantz speakers plus headphones. Fisher, Gerard, Morantz, and more for one ninety-nine. Take this Pioneer receiver, not the bottom of the line, no way. Take a BSR turntable, two Akai speakers plus headphones, two twenty-six. Here's a Sansui receiver, Gerard turntable, two Altec Lansing speakers plus headphones for two ninety-eight. And there's more. Bellflower, Canoga Park, Garden Grove, Torrance, West Covina, West LA, San Bernardino, North Hollywood, Pasadena, Whittier City of Orange, Costa Mesa, and Riverside. Cal Stereo for Sure. Work five days just to earn my pay. Gotta pay for Saturday's play. Saturday night is unique. It's the peak, the best of the week. Now the second best thing about Saturday night is just as good as the first. He's in back and cooling down. A fever. Good morning, I'm Mary Lyon with information you need to know on this first day of June, 61 degrees at 750. The information brought to you in part by Miller Imports Dotson and Mike Miller Toyota, who hope it's all good for you today. First of all, got a road condition to give you here because of the heavy traffic on the southbound Hollywood Freeway because part of Coenga has been closed off. You know about that. Caltrans is asking you to take another way around that part of town. Coenga Boulevard West is going to be closed to through traffic southbound at Barham and to those going northbound at Odin Street. Okay? Now, on to the powwow that went on at City Hall yesterday as everybody's been trying to figure up what money they'll have to work with if Proposition 13 passes next Tuesday, in the election that is, like when Jerry Brown and Tom Bradley got together. The problem, as the governor and Mayor Bradley thought, was that if Proposition 13 only included uh, house, houses, property relief for houses, then the city or the state surplus could pick it up, but in as far as that it also gives two thirds of it to the commercial and uh, business properties, that means that services will have to be cut to provide that kind of relief. Mayor spokesman Tom Sullivan there. Governor Brown saying as well that since business stands to gain the most by Prop 13 passing, business should put the people who may get laid off back to work. Governor also says county government and school districts will get first crack at whatever state surplus money is around, and local city governments will have to wait their turn, which will probably be last place. Now, what the mayor and city council's finance and revenue committee have been kicking around is another idea to raise some bucks in case Jarvis passes, a city tax on the wages of everybody who works in L.A. City, just like the city of Oakland has. Bradley saying it's not too likely that will happen, though. He prefers to hold the line with what we've got, and most of the city council goes along with him. Do you hear the FCC, the power to whom we are all bowing, has given quite an endorsement to CB Radio, saying some such rigs promote safety and speed help to traffic accident victims and a very good tool to have in the car to use on the road. So
Susan B. Anthony, the suffragette, seems to be the fave rave in the nomination drive for whose face is going on the new $1 coin about to be minted, at least in testimony to the House Banking Committee, although the Treasury Department is leaning toward Miss Liberty instead. Of course, the public's been sending in their ideas, too. Elvis Presley's been mentioned, although most of the suggestions have been women. Coming up on KHJ Hollywood, it's 752. Hello? Oh, hello, Irma. Busy? No, not since my two sons, Fred and Mike, became competing car dealers and forgot they ever had a mother. Yeah, Fred's the one who owns Miller Imports Dotson in Van Nuys, and Michael's in Culver City. Mike Miller Toyota. No, Mike just wanted to be on his own. Has ever since they were little. <laughs> oh, they were so cute then. Once when Michael opened a lemonade stand, Fred decided to help out by selling him protection. Who'd have thought then that they'd try and outsell each other now by offering their customers unbelievable deals? Sure, that's nice, but did Monty Hall ever forget his mother? Help the Miller brothers remember their mother and get a great deal at Miller Imports Dotson and Van Nuys on Van Nuys Boulevard just north of the Ventura Freeway and Mike Miller Toyota in Culver City on the corner of West Washington Boulevard and National. Is that true, Irma? Monty Hall actually kept his mother behind curtain number three? Hollywood. Well, that's what it says anyway, since the other O fell down from the Hollywood sign. The city and, and the engineers that we have hired have all declared it as completely unsalvageable. You know, it's, it's 55 years old. There are only seven and a half letters left of, of the nine that are supposed to be up there. And, and uh, it's, you just can't keep putting money into it. Mike Sims, the executive director of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce there, which has a campaign on to bring the Hollywood sign back from the dead. What we plan to do is rebuild it in uh, uh, new fabrics, probably all steel, it looks like right now, and, and it'll be an exact duplication. Down here in this part of town, you look up there and you won't be able to tell the difference except that it's all there. Mike Sims saying the campaign's been going on for a week now. Kind of disappointing. They have about 7000 of the $250,000 they need. Some more information for you this morning. March Fong Yu, our Secretary of State, says we will get to vote on gay rights here in California in November because she says State Senator John Briggs' anti-gay initiative has more than enough signatures behind it to qualify for the ballot. Sample poll Channel 2's just done says both Propositions 8 and 13 look like they'll pass next week. And Mr. and Mrs. John Ehrlichman are calling it quits after 30 years together. Gene Ehrlichman has commented that their impending divorce was his idea because he wants to live alone. KHJ Sports coming up. KHJ Sound Off lets you speak your mind. I'm Gary Parker. Every day we hear tales of new high-rise condominiums and luxury apartments being built in Westwood. These are squeezing the students out. Each summer, landlords hike rents in the UCLA community $10 to $50. In a building three blocks from campus, rents are set to be raised $80 for a one-bedroom apartment. In the building across the street, a three-bedroom unit goes for $600 a month. Who lives in these buildings? Rich young students receiving financial aid, young swingers who think it's cool to live in Westwood, and old people who constantly complain about noise. Despite a petition being circulated on campus to prevent such occurrences, students are virtually powerless in this issue. Given a few years, UCLA will be an oasis in the middle of a Marina Del Rey type environment. A new zoning ordinance in Westwood is a must. The students need it immediately. KHJ Sound Off, giving you the opportunity to state your point of view. Call Vivian Porter at KHJ for free airtime to sound off. It's simple. We want to be your radio station. KHJ. KHJ Sports can't win them all. Dodgers proved that last night by losing to the Padres 3-1. to And the Angels were badly beat themselves by the Chicago White Sox 17-2. to KHJ weather cloudy out there now, but it won't last forever. Hazy sunshine expected by this afternoon and a high of 73 down to 60 tonight and good unhealthful air quality. At 756, it's 60 degrees in Long Beach, Burbank, 60. Coastal City 61 and 61 degrees at KHJ. Hey.